Listen to this segment because actor and activist Terry Crews facing backlash for tweeting, we must ensure Black Lives Matter doesn't morph into Black Lives Better. Here's how he explained it. Uh, are we, are all white people bad? No. Are all black people good? No. Knowing this reality, I stand on my decision to unite with good people, no matter the race, creed, or ideology. Uh, given the number of threats against this decision, I also decide to die on this hill. Terry Cruz joins me now. Terry, man, hey. you stepped in it. <laughs> you say that you're willing yeah. to, you say you're willing to die on this hill. You've taken a lot of heat for this. Explain what you were thinking uh, and why it's so important that you die on this hill. Well, again, you know, I want to bring up the fact that, you know, there are some very, very, you know, militant type forces in Black Lives Matter. And what I was issuing was a warning. You know, it's one of those things where I've been a part of different groups, I've been a part of different things, and you see how extremes can really get, can go far and can go wild. And then when you issue a warning, and when a warning is seen as detrimental to the movement, how can you ever, ever have checks and balances? Um, you know, in, in the 60s and 70s, airplanes went down all the time. And the reason they found out why they did was because the pilots could never be questioned. And when you have the leaders of the Black Lives Movement who are now talking about, you know, if we don't get our demands, we're going to burn it down. Uh, other Black people who are talking about working with other whites and other uh, other races, they're, they're being viewed as sellouts or called Uncle Toms. It starts to, starts to, you start to understand that you are now, you know, being controlled. You're not being treated as loved. You're actually being controlled. Someone wants to control the narrative. And I viewed it as a very, very dangerous self-righteousness that was developing that, you know, that, that really viewed themselves as better. It was a, almost a supremacist move. So let, let me jump where in, Where they viewed that, that For, lot, their black lives mattered a lot more than mine. Okay. So let me jump in here. There's a lot that you said. Um, you, you think Black Lives Matter is, you said it's a, you think it's an extreme movement? Because it's now part of the... No. What, this is the thing. It's a great mantra. It's a true mantra. Black lives do matter. matter. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about an organization, you're talking about the leaders, you're talking about the people who are responsible okay, for I putting got you. these I things got you. together. I got you. So let me... It's but you, you, thing. Terry, you realize that even during the civil rights movement that uh, Dr. King was seen as extreme. That movement was seen as extreme. To people who don't want to make change, um, movements are s seen as extreme. You can paint them easily as an extreme when they are not. This is very true. But also, in, when you're talking about MLK, you're talking about Nelson Mandela, and even Malcolm X, they all realized that you had to have a non-racial component to these kind of movements, or there will be resentment. There will be get back. There will be, one of these people will tend to, listen, I don't want to move from one oppressor to the next. And one thing is really Who's, shocks who's me. the next when oppressor? At, who's the next oppressor? Oh, when I, when I describe this, when you look in the city of Chicago, there are nine children who've died by gun violence, by black on black gun violence, with, uh, from June 20th all the way to today. And you're talking about even with the Atlanta child murders, there were 28 kids who, were, who died during, in two years. You're talking about a month, and you have nine black kids. And the Black Lives Matter movement has said nothing about this What does that have thing. to do you with know? equality, though, Terry? I, have to tell, I don't understand what that has to do with equality, because they're, they're, listen, there's crime. There are people in those communities who are, those people aren't just being nonchalant about about gun violence. I lived in Chicago. There are many people who are working in those communities to try to get rid of the gun violence. It's pr the gun culture in this, in this country is prevalent, but I don't understand what that has to do with a movement that's for equality for black people. It's, it, it, there, it's not mutually exclusive that if you care about equality for black people, that somehow you're going to stop um, random violence or unfortunately kids from being shot. It just seems like apples and oranges. You know, it, 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 it's not that way. You know, this is the thing, Don. You know, black people need to hold other black people accountable. I said this the same thing. This is a, a, the Black America's 
version of the Me Too movement. If anything is going to change, we ourselves need to look at our own communities and look at each other and say, this thing cannot go down. And, and this is the thing, too. There are a lot of great, great people there who are held hostage, who are held hostage by people who literally are, are, are running these neighborhoods with violence and then claiming that Black Lives Matter. When you look at the parents of these little kids who are mentioning, saying, hey, man, why aren't they speaking up for me, too? And then this is what I'm saying. It's, it, when I look at this whole thing about, you know, it's about who is controlling the narrative. It's, not, it, it's got to be all Black Lives Matter. And what's happened is that because I even challenged it, because I even questioned or, and warned okay, people, Terry, I, I became sick. Like, I, if I, I told get you it. to wear a mask, but, for Terry, they it's want to kick you out. You're, you're a high-profile person. You're writing things out there. You know you're going to get backlash. You know people are going to respond to what you're saying on Twitter. So you, I just, I don't think you should be surprised by that. I, you know, I have a, a skin as tough as an armadillo because of what I do. And I think maybe you should adapt that. But here's, here's what I have to say. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement was started because it was talking about police brutality. If you want an all Black Lives Matter movement that talks about gun violence in communities, including, you know, black communities, then start that movement with that name. But that's not what Black Lives Matter is about. It's not an all encompassing. So if you're talking about um, if, if someone started a movement that said uh, cancer matters and then someone comes in and said, why aren't you talking about HIV? It's not the same thing. We're talking about cancer. So the Black Lives Matter movement is about police brutality and injustice in that manner, not about what's happening in black neighborhoods. If you, there are people who are working on that issue. And if you want to start that issue, why don't you start it? Do you understand what I'm but, saying? But when, you look, but when you look at the organization, police brutality is not the only thing they're talking about. I know that, but uh, I agree, I'll, but that's not I, what the Black Lives Matter movement is about, Terry. Black Lives Matter is about police about, brutality and about, and about criminal justice. It's not about what happens in, in communities when it comes to crime, black on black crime. People who live near each other, black people, kill each other. Same as whites. Eighty some percent of white people are killed by white people. True. Because of proximity. Very true. It's the same thing with black people. But that again, happens in every single I neighborhood. But that doesn't, again, I'm not you saying know, that's not like important that those, those, those kids died, but it's a different people. movement. Uh, I, listen, I understand what you're saying. I totally understand. It is about police brutality. That should never be accepted. Yeah. I am not saying that that's not it, but they are, there's more there. Okay. And when I look at, the, if they have more on their agenda, we need to ask them about what else is on that agenda other than police brutality. And that's all I'm doing. Questioning, I got you. warning, watching. And if that bothers you, now that bothers I'm me. Over. Because I'm over if Terry. I can't warn you, we are equal. If we're equal, I should be I able to go, say Terry. something <laughs> as equal. I gotta go. I gotta go. We'll see you. Terry, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. <laughs>